Welcome, Sagittarius, to Petrella's Intuitive Insights. This is a brief overview of May 15th, uh, the middle of May. I feel that you need to trust the guidance you have been given, especially if it lines up with your own personal creed. If there is some negative energy uh, speaking in your ear saying, come over here, this is fun, let's do this, let's do that. And it really does go against your personal creed. Why would you cross those boundaries, Sagittarius? Um, I, I feel that many of you, uh, if honestly, I just feel that whatever this is, whether you're overworking, this could be some sort of um, a sugar addiction. Uh, some of you, it's actually like uh, something, it's a, some kind of a drug that's making the heart race. It's, it's, you're, it's almost as if you're, missed, you're missing opportunities because of this. You need to have more self-discipline, more self-control. And when you see the red flags, some of these people, they're wolves in sheep's clothing, and they may be people that you work with on a daily basis. Uh, it could be even family members. But remember, if they wanted the best for you, they would, they would allow you to keep to your own personal creed. So um, I've actually seen uh, uh, families break up because of this kind of behavior but you need to get your behavior and your priorities um, straight. And if you're with somebody Sagittarius and they are doing, um, you know, uh, they're a, a chronic drinker, drugs, alcohol, I mean, taking it to the extreme where uh, what they do and how they live is a big part of it. And I'm gonna tell you, um, if you're truly metaphysically minded Sagittarius, and you want your light to shine, and look at this card that flipped out, number three, and it is good health and the fulfillment of highest hope. So you may have to really contemplate Sagittarius, uh, the relationship that you're in, because I feel that if it has morphed and changed, um, it, things will, uh, events will occur at a fast pace. For those of you <clears throat> that are in non-committed relationship, and it's a relationship with a group of people, be it at work, a family unit, um, it too expects some drastic changes during this particular time and it will affect your money. So it's gonna affect the money uh, in the long run. Uh, new residents at a crossroads. So it feels as if this, whether it's you're struggling with this addic addictive behavior or it's the person that's close to you, it's going to cause major changes and fast. So today is a day to prioritize what's really important to you. And look, uh, the drug of your choice could be alcohol. It could be sugar. It could be uh, fill the blank, fill the blank. And I got to tell you, most people, because I, I do a lot of, I talk to a lot of people, when they're caught up in, in some sort of addiction, they um, try to outweigh it with their religion. It doesn't even matter what religion they are, because I'm an international reader. I'm just telling you. So if you see the red flags, you're crossing your own boundaries, Sagittarius. Uh, and it could be like your best friend, because here's the friend card that just came out. And this could be your relative, friend or relative, right? Here they are. They're just leading you down the path. People see what's going on. And look, here's the king of hearts. The bride card. This is amazing. Because I feel that, <clears throat> excuse me, some of the Sagittarians, you're not even, 
in a marital situation, but I'm just gonna say this could be if you're working partnership. It's a partnership of some sort. Career finance, Sagittarius. I probably lost a lot of people right now. See, there's this conflict. Because of this situation, here's this conflict. And look, it's not going to end well. So change is difficult, but it has to start. You have to change. And even if it's with your thoughts of this person has brought me down to this level, look at the life that I'm leading now. Everything that I thought I would never do or say or be. Now, I'm going to switch to, like, uh, your creative side. But here's your heart and your joy. So, whether you created, uh, uh, this could be anything that you're creating. You could have an open canvas to include even a family. And there's your joy right there. Some of you are right in the midst of completing a project of some sort. And you do have good fortune. I feel like you have guardians on your side, be it ancestors, angels. Um, yes. Yes, indeed. You have ancestors and angels. Do you, I want you to notice these are two sevens. This is good fortune and good luck. This is happy family life. This is... Um, Oh, at the bottom of the deck, here's the casket. So I just want to tell you, either uh, Sagittarius, these bad decisions, bad behaviors, uh, bad habits are going to be coming to an end. Or somehow something's going to change and there will be an ending. Um, so let's just go on to... Uh, Career finance. Whoa. Conflict. Conflict and a career in finance. It's almost as if there's an intertwining. <clears throat> and here's some uh, crowing of some bad news. So this could be just gossip within the office. This could be <clears throat> just stuff that you're hearing. Um, but look, it, you know, we are energy beings, so you need to pay attention to that, Sagittarius. I feel that many of you are already metaphysically minded, but career finance. See, this card again, you need to, <clears throat> this is to playing nicely. Yeah, this is financially. You're going to be healing from whatever situation you're currently in, and the money will be coming in. So you have this money coming in. What are you going to do with it? Make wise decisions. You are a steward over your money. The divine and the spirit, they're the ones who, you know, they're in charge of everything. So remember to give thanks to your ancestors, your angels, and to the divine mostly. And, um, whew, Sagittarius. Let's go on to see the strength of the Sagittarius during this particular time. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This is the end of a difficult situation. I think em embrace change and expect things to get better now. I swear to God, you would have thought I had these cards stacked. There you go. So Sagittarius, I feel that many of you that are dealing with this bad behavior one way or another, whether it's yours or it's uh, somebody within your group, you're just going to be kind of done with it. Now, this is your shadow side. This is what you need to shed light on, what you need to work on. It's the lovers, intimate relationships. They're not what they should be. Uh, you need to carefully weigh your decisions. What kind of life do you want? Because I'm sure that this group of people or this significant other would be happy to oblige whatever you decide. I got this cool deck you guys have been asking. It's about the, it's from the Mori tribe. Uh, 
Uh, I got it from a gentleman whose wife is from the Mori tribe. I feel very blessed. Thank you so much. But let's go on with... Oh, there we go, Sagittarius. Oh, Fairy of the South. Oh, look at that scowl on his face. I am going to read something from the book. Uh, and this is number 29. Look at the scowl on his face. Wow. Look at that. Fire. Fire. Heart chakra, relationships, excitement, inner spark, Sagittarius. All these cards are lining up. I'm using different decks, and they're all saying the same thing. Look, I would, you know, I don't know if you could screenshot this or whatever, but that's exactly everything we've been talking about. So it's about the heart energy center. It's the magical connection that you have. Sagittarius, if this resonated with you and you would like a private reading, patrolisintuitiveinsights.com. Uh, the price is very, just check it out. Also, uh, if you are in Pittsburgh, Youngstown, Ohio, um, Erie, PA, or Wenton, West Virginia, hosting a Mind, Body, Spirit event, at the local country club outside of Beaver, Pennsylvania, which is outside of, it's in between Youngstown and Pittsburgh. And we're having a psychic tea party. Get your tea leaves read and learn how to read tea leaves there as well. That's in July. And I'm having a um, costume party. Uh, and it is October 26th at the country club. We have games, prizes, uh, best costume. It is a costume. It's called the Witch's Ball, Come One, Come All. But, um, I mean, one year some guy came as a toilet. Uh, they're dre the costumes are phenomenal. We have a cackle contest to work on that. And again, private readings, patrellasintuitiveinsights.com, listed in the link below. God bless you.